How to make your checklists better. JP here. This is something that I'm passionate about. The checklist. Say what? The checklist? You're passionate about a piece of paper with work written on it? Yes! We use checklists for our balloon launches, airship flights, rocket engine test firings, and the life support system in our submarine. Now these are complex and dangerous things. Checklists not only make us more successful, but they keep me alive. When checklists are that important, you get pretty good at them. I wanna share with you what we've learned so that you can be better with your checklists. Now there are probably thousands of ways to do a checklist. Although the other ways may be good, I'm gonna show you the things that have worked for us. Let's start out with what is a checklist? You know, at the core, a checklist is a list of tasks that you check off when you complete them. Simple, right? But it's that simplicity that leads a lot of folks to mess up the whole process. There are a lot of apps and software for checklists out there. Many are useful. However, too often the sophisticated app or program becomes a distraction. I use a printed Word doc on a clipboard and a pen. And that's what we'll be talking about today. Here are 10 tips for making your checklists better. Number one, check an item only when it's done, not when it's been assigned. This seems obvious, but it creeps in on everyone. Say you're running a checklist with a team. This equally applies to a dive checklist on a submarine or a family using a checklist to pack the car for vacation. You tell Johnny to put the ice chest in the back of the car and you check it off the checklist. Then you get to the Grand Canyon and the ice chest is still back at home in the garage. Don't check the item off when the task is assigned. Check it off when you see that it's complete. Running a checklist can get hectic. Even experienced people make this mistake. Make only checked when observed done your number one checklist motto. You know, just a thought, you could write that on the top of your checklists and skip this problem altogether. You know what? We should do that with ours. See, even I can learn something from these videos. Number two, a checklist is a living document. It changes one minute to the next. Let it. Don't get stiff about your checklists. It's the beginning, not the end. If you're scribbling, crossing out things and changing it, you're doing it right. This is a page from our Away 57 mission checklist. Number three, one ring to rule them all. Assign one person to manage the checklist when you do your flight or operation. Make that their only job. If that person needs to hand it off mid-checklist for any reason, make it formal. It needs to be like Picard relinquishing the bridge to Riker. You have the bridge, number one. With a checklist instead of a starship, when the new person takes the clipboard, they get a briefing on what's going on and the new person will sign the checklist on the item where they're starting from. Number four, build pauses into your checklist. A well-crafted checklist manages the timing and the pacing. Checklists are too often used as drivers, a tool to drive the action. That's not a good fit. But a checklist can be used to manage the pacing. On our balloon launch checklists, we have a line that says, hold for the balloon fill team. This has the team that's getting the electronic systems ready to wait for the balloon team that's filling the helium balloon. When the balloon team gets close to finish, they'll give the go to the systems team. This prevents that hurry up and wait problem while the vehicle bleeds down batteries. Use waits and pauses to time so everything comes together for you. We also note high stress moments in an operation 
and put a stop and review moment into the checklist. It'll say something like, stop launch process and inspect vehicle from peak to base four minutes. Not only does this relieve the tension and make the process smoother, but a relaxed team will end up making up the time and get the job done actually faster. Five, any data you need to capture should be written down right on the checklist itself. Make the checklist the one-stop shop for your paperwork. Of course, the checklist is not the place for large data sets. However, bits of data that don't have any other place to go can be dropped right there. When our balloon platform is powered up and ready to fly, we do a final weighing, and that number gets written directly on the checklist. You know, when David Attenborough has a documentary about the Savannah, he always offers a companion book. Well, we've done it too. We've put together a collection of our balloon launch checklists, rocket checklists, airship checklists, engine checklists, submarine checklists, along with the tips from this video. We've put it all into a PDF for instant download from our store for $19.95. Lots of examples to help you with your own checklists. The link is in the description below. Number six, put a name on it. Put a space to handwrite the name of the person who's running the checklist and the date right at the top. Personalize it. Make it a point of pride for the person who's running the checklist. And it also tells you who to talk to when you're reviewing it later. Number seven. The first item on the checklist should always be start time. And the last item on the checklist should be the end time. This will give you a definite time to completion. That'll be invaluable the next time you run this checklist. Number eight. This is the super tip. Flashing lights, sirens, fireworks. This is the one. Review your checklist afterwards. About a week after the mission, the operation, or whatever the checklist was about, read through your checklist, then flip it over and write your thoughts on the back. This is the path to mastery. Number nine, file your checklist. Then you'll have them then you can use them as a reference when starting a new checklist or even a whole new project. They are literally experience on paper and they're worth many times their weight in gold. You did all that work writing it, even more work doing it. You made those precious mistakes that you learned from. You don't wanna lose that, you wanna keep it, use it. Let your checklists make you better. Number 10. All of the last nine tips lead into the last one. Use your old checklists to create new ones. This even applies to checklists for completely different tasks. You know, the cross outs, the rearranges on the scribble notes on the front will apply to updates of the existing ones. Your notes on the back will apply to everything. I hope these tips lead you to smooth and effective checklists. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next video. And thank you for watching.